What's going on guys, this is David with Random Tech Tips and I just wanted to make a quick video to apologize for the delay in getting up the benchmarks for the new Raven Ridge APUs. Uh, unfortunately, I ran into some issues that I should have planned better for. So, as a disclaimer, these are the first Ryzen chips that I have ever owned as I've been pretty happy with my 4770K for the past couple years. Uh, while I was aware that I would need a current Ryzen chip in order to update the BIOS of any B350 board that I bought, I was really hoping that waiting to purchase a new board the day that Raven Ridge launched would have meant I received one with an updated BIOS, but that obviously was not the case, which you're going to see at the end of this time lapse. I did just order a Ryzen 1200 last night, so hopefully it'll make it here by tomorrow so that I can get up and running and get a video up this weekend with benchmarks for a boatload of titles for you all. Uh, I will be benchmarking the games with both one stick of DDR4 2400MHz memory and then again with another stick of DDR4 2400MHz memory. Uh, 2400 because I think that's what the majority of folks uh, looking to buy this APU is going to be able to afford and then additionally with RAM prices being so high right now I think a lot of people might just buy one stick and wait out the the price increases to see if they come down until they get another stick so uh, the only content that I've seen right now on YouTube showing kind of the comparison of uh, just using one stick rather than two was actually just released by Brian over at Tech yes City uh, and there was some pretty noticeable performance decreases uh, when he switched down to just one stick, but I believe he was also using 3200 megahertz of memory. So hopefully I get the Ryzen 1200 in tomorrow so that I can get the BIOS updated and then start getting some benchmarks done on some games. It's probably going to be Saturday or Sunday of this week until my next video gets up, uh, strictly because I've got a lot of work uh, coming up these next few days as well as just the time it's going to take to thoroughly benchmark all the games that I want to. If you guys have any games or programs that you actually want to see benchmark that other channels may not have gotten around to yet, go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I will try to do that during my video. Uh, the sooner you leave the comment the better because I'm going to start filming hopefully tomorrow when the new CPU comes and I can get the BIOS updated. So that's going to be it for this video guys. Again, sorry for the delay on getting the new video with the benchmarks up. Uh, however, feel free to watch through the rest of this time lapse. As you'll see at the end, uh, I'm not getting any display signal. The board is just failing to post and the easy debug LED is showing that the CPU is the culprit. Again, probably because the BIOS hasn't been updated yet. So hopefully I don't run into any more issues uh, that is going to delay me getting the video up. Again, go ahead and leave your comments down below if you've got anything that you want to see benchmarked. Um, as always, if you like this content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit a like. It really helps me out. Until next time, I'll tech you later.